Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts right here from Santa Fe Cattle Company at the Hammond Square Mall. A year ago, Robert Alford was playing for your Southeastern Lions. Well, this weekend, he made his debut for the Atlanta Falcons in the Superdome. This time last year, Robert Alford was picking off passes, rushing the quarterback, and stopping runners in their tracks for the Southeastern Lions. This year, Robert's still doing that, but only this time at a higher level. You see, Robert Alford played in his first NFL game this past weekend for the Atlanta Falcons. I mean, I was looking forward to coming back to, to my hometown and competing against the, against the hometown team. Robert didn't get the start, but made his presence felt real early when he broke up a Drew Brees pass on the New Orleans Saints' second drive. They run to the ball. They something that coach don't be stretching out to his own at practice. No matter what the ball is, I mean, you just run it and get to the ball. You never know what'll happen. And then later, the former Lion got in a tussle with Saints wide receiver Marcus Colston as Robert wrestled the ball away from Colston for his first interception as a pro. Um, we was in man coverage. Um, Marcus Colston was tight to the to the um, core. Uh, it's something that we've been going over um, every day this week, and I mean. He ran the same exact route, which, which was um, crossing route. I was on his hip, and when I seen the ball, I just undercut it. Robert was one of the lucky ones. He got to play his first NFL game in his own backyard in front of friends and family, and he made a name for himself both on the field and the hearts of Lion Nation. I mean, it was real loud. I mean, very, very different from college. I mean, I had a lot of, a lot of people out here, um, so I mean, it was a lot of, a lot of um, yelling. Coach, being able to watch Robert uh, against the Saints for the Atlanta Falcons, that had to be exciting for you. Uh, a guy that, you know, really had a fantastic year a year ago for your club, and then a guy from Louisiana opens up in the dome and intercepts Drew Brees for his first game. I mean, that's pretty special. That was very special for Rob. Real happy for him. He's done an outstanding job, and you know they love him up there in the Falcons, and he's going to have a great career with them. All right, Coach, well, let's take a look at your ball club after two weeks. Uh, a big victory against Southeast Missouri, and then uh, a very good performance on the road at TCU. We're going into a very important week this week on the road at South Dakota State. We're going to talk about the Jackrabbits in a little while, but talk about your team after the first two weeks. Well, I, I thought one of the best, probably most encouraging things I saw is that we, we played both games fast. We came out of the gates fast. You know, we gave a tremendous amount of effort, and that's one that we got to get to the point where you don't, you're not worried which team's showing up. Is that we played a game where we're going to play it the best of our ability every time we hit the field, and we can eliminate that roller coaster ride uh, of college football. Uh, we've got to be consistent, which I think we've shown that. We still want to eliminate a lot of mistakes if we're going to compete for a championship. We we'll get ourselves in that hunt. Uh, we got to play better. We've got to eliminate mental mistakes and mental errors. And, uh, and uh, look forward to hopefully taking care of those in the next few weeks. Coach, let's talk about the Southland Conference for a minute. As this league, uh, year in and year out, is very, very competitive. It looks to be that way again this season. We had some very good performances this past weekend in the conference. Central Arkansas played very well against Colorado. Yep. Sam Houston State put up a lot of points against Texas A&M. Uh, Nickel State goes on the road and defeats Western Michigan. Uh, Lamar plays tough with Louisiana Tech. Once again, this looks to be a very tough conference. No, I think it speaks volume again about our conference and the competitiveness within the conference we have. You guys have all done well uh, in preseason so far, and especially versus FPS opponents, and, and represent our conference extremely well. And you know, we look forward to a very competitive season again. All right, well, let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to look ahead as your lines will be on the road in Brookings, South Dakota, to take on the Jackrabbits, who are currently ranked in the top 10. Right here on Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts, right here from Santa Fe Cattle Company at the Hammond Square Mall. Inside